Hello, this is Gary Seal, TrueCon Sales Consulting, and I want to talk to you today about motivation and specifically what makes you tick. When do you know and how do you get into the zone? Because the hero today is you. You are the hero. Now, the problem is we're always looking for higher productivity. We may be frustrated with some of our job tasks. We may not be seeing the results that we want. However, we know that if we can work in our zone, then we can be a lot more productive. Matter of fact, you probably know that we're all inherently different. If you had brothers and sisters growing up, you knew that they looked a little bit like you. They were in the same environment, they have the same parents, same socioeconomic area. However, they really were different than you. And why is that? There's just some raw talent there, some things that they came gifted with, things you came gifted with that makes you uniquely different. The issue there is it's raw. Now, you don't have to guess about what your talents are. However, many people do. Peter Drucker said most people are clueless about their strengths, and that's a shame. You can test yourself. So think about this. When do you feel the most fulfilled? When does time fly by? It's when, if you're designing something, are you solving problems? Are you teaching others? Are you assembling something? Are you selling something to others? That gives you a little clue. However, I think there are ways that we can find out much more specifically. I would highly encourage you to take the DISC test. Go to Tony Robbins' website and look for his DISC test. There's some cost associated with it, but you will not be disappointed in the results that you get. That will give you a platform for launching forward. Now, I'm going to recommend three books that you read and take their cloud-based test. First one is Strengths Finders by Tom Rath. Rath gives you five top individual strengths out of 34 different schemes. Then move forward to the book, Now Discover Your Strengths, where they amplify on those 34 strengths and help you understand how you can capitalize on what you're innately gifted with. And then move forward to the book, Stand Out by Buckingham. Buckingham provides two top personality strengths, and those things help you narrow your focus, which is important. All these books have significant insights about your strengths. Now, let's go back to our original question. What is motivation? Webster says motivation is something that incites you to action, an internal desire that you can develop into a talent. And develop is the key word. You must do this on purpose. Capitalize on your strengths and let other pursuits be trivial pursuits. Or simply don't waste your time going after those things that are not in your strengths category. Now, I believe that your talents are innately bestowed gifts from God. When you dig deep there, you're mining into a deep vein of gold. There's hope for the future that drives you forward when you're working in your strengths. Because when you're working inside your strengths, it invigorates you. It does not drag you down. And then you know you're in the zone of productivity. When you're working in your strengths, you'll find contentment, joy, and peace. Now, isn't that where you would rather be?